Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be paying a quick visit to Larkspur Line train store in Merrickville. This is a train store which I've done quite a few tours of in the past. It's certainly a place that I love visiting, so every time we go on a day trip up to Merrickville, I always like to stop in and see what they have in stock. On this particular visit, I was really just looking for some additions for my Hershey factory, you know, uh, vehicles, figures, things like that. But there's always a bit of time to look around and see what else they have. So here we are in the used locomotive section, and it looks like they have sold quite a few of the locomotives which we saw on the previous visit. However, they still had these two locomotives. This one's an 040 Tyco Mantua locomotive, and uh, they also had this Tyco Power Torque Canadian National locomotive. Both of these are in pretty poor condition, but they also are not being sold for a crazy amount, so it doesn't seem like a bad deal. And here's where the store keeps its higher-end locomotives. It looks like they do have some new stock in this display case, a few new locomotives. They also had a whole bunch of really nice buildings, vehicles, and figures and things like that here. There were a few buildings here which really caught my eye, and I actually did end up walking away with a couple, which I will show you all later. Now as I said in the beginning, I was looking for figures to place around my Hershey's factory, and they had this box full of miscellaneous ones. The selection was pretty good, although I have to say the thing I've discovered is that it seems to be really tricky just to find figures who are kind of acting usual. A lot of these figures are meant for, you know, a specific scene, like window washing or running a bakery. It's all very random, so if you were looking for something for one of those types of scenes, these might be great, but unfortunately I wasn't really able to find anything for my purposes. I did end up walking away with some stuff from the store uh, other than the buildings though, so I'll show you all of that. This was uh, certainly not the uh, largest tour I've ever done of the store, but uh, it was just a quick visit and uh, I still enjoyed it very much. Well, I'm now obviously back from Larkspur and I did end up buying some stuff, uh, a lot of small items, but uh, things I really can't wait to show all of you and uh, eventually add on to the layout. I'll start with uh, the things which I think are kind of least exciting, and I'll, I'll move towards the stuff which I would consider more interesting. Anyway, let's begin. I bought this bag full of uh, Triumph 200 cars. These are really not well detailed, but uh, it was four dollars for the bag, so just uh, over you know a, a buck twenty-five a piece, and uh, it, it didn't seem like too bad a deal. Uh, I want these more as background cars for my Hershey factory project. The building has a huge parking lot and uh, it just doesn't look quite right empty. So uh, yeah, I bought all of those. Maybe I'll paint some of them or something just to make them look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, some cheap uh, vehicles. You can't really go wrong with that. Also got this uh, VW bus, which I thought would be a nice addition for the same parking lot. An identical one, just in orange. Red Ford Capri. I don't know what this one is, but uh, it was going for 45 cents, so uh, threw that in the mix. A Mitsubishi L300 van, some rail joiners, and a Pontiac Bonneville Coupe. I thought this was a really cool looking car. It's a 1959. Apparently this model is actually licensed by General Motors, which is kind of cool to see. Anyway, this is definitely one of the uh, higher end models, so it's going to be towards the edge of the parking lot where people are more likely to actually look at the cars in detail. So I thought that would be uh, a nice addition. It was going for $14. It's not the cheapest, but uh, also not the most expensive. These uh, little HO scale cars are quite pricey, as I'm sure a lot of you out there are aware. This is for the uh, new layout, it's a gazebo. I don't really know exactly where I want to put it, but uh, I just thought it would be a nice addition to the uh, layout out there. I don't know, it seems good and uh, it wasn't, I can't remember the price, I think it was going for like $10 or something like that. Somebody had to have put in quite a bit of effort though, the detail's pretty nice, it weighs a ton, I think it's actually crafted out of lead, so uh, yeah, not a bad little purchase. I can't wait to find that at home. Now this right here is one of the, I think most exciting things I walked away with from that visit. It's a little ice cream uh, parlor. And uh, throughout the States, you know, small town USA, kind of rural Canadian towns, you run into these types of places all the time. And I just thought it was a really cool little building. Lots of detail on it. And uh, I'm pretty confident I know where to put this. 
uh, on the new layout. So I, I think it's going to have a, a good home there. But uh, yeah, there's this certain spot on the layout. It's kind of like a field. So I figured why not add this and just uh, bring the layout to life even more. And uh, I was amazed for $16. You know, it wasn't going for too bad a price. Like somebody must have spent hours making this, putting all the details on. It's all made of like balsa wood. So yeah, I, uh, I really like this piece. Now I did decide to get the two locomotives there. As I said, they're in horrible condition, but uh, they were not going for too bad a price. I know I walked away from them in the past, but uh, you know what? I figured, you know, these engines have both seen better days. But maybe I can try to work some magic on them, see if we can get them both running again, if, you know, assuming they don't run. And, uh, yeah, they might be able to see some uh, brighter days again. Um, this one is really bad. It's missing a lot of its truck covers, and uh, the weight is being held in by hockey tape, so uh, it's going to need some work. These power torques are very unreliable drives, so, um, yeah, it's, it's going to need some, uh, some restoration there. But still, hey, it's a $6 engine. And uh, we'll find we'll find something interesting to do with it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Same goes for uh, this one, the Mantua Tyco. I mean, this engine's in terrible shape, and just like the other one uh, I restored recently, it's missing one of its trucks. So I'm gonna have to source out a part for that. But uh, it's not painted or anything, so uh, this could be exciting in the sense we could actually disassemble it and paint it up and. See if we can turn this really rough looking engine into something that looks really nice and uh, depending on the running condition maybe we can make it run real good too. So yeah, overall uh, it seemed like an okay purchase. I don't know, you can't go too wrong with the old Mantua Tycos, they're pretty robust. So yeah, that is everything I bought. Now uh, I don't know about all of you, but I am kind of curious to see what the running condition of this locomotive is and hey, maybe we can place some of these buildings around the layout too. I think it's time to give this thing a home. Yeah, it looks all right there. Might reposition it a bit and maybe add some figures around it, but uh, I don't know. It adds something new to this area. Yeah, there's even home for the gazebo. Uh, I like it already. I'm putting some power in the track and so far I'm not seeing anything. What the heck? Well, there's some weird stuff going on with this engine. I'm not sure if all of you just saw that, but it looked like there was like some arcing or something. Yeah, look at that. What the heck? I will say that I certainly don't regret sinking $7 into it because since it has a lot of problems I haven't seen, I think it's going to make for an interesting project. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to working on this thing. Stay tuned for that at some point in the future. And now it's time to see what exactly we're dealing with on this locomotive. That's an unusual looking coupler. Huh, I'm not sure if this thing is gonna be capable of picking up power or not. Probably have to hold the uh, tender up just so that it doesn't short. Well, let's give it a try here. Yeah, so far, uh, I'm not seeing too much from it. So that's gonna need some work before it can be uh, running under its own power, but uh, these Mantua Tycos are pretty tough, so I, I think it's got a pretty good shot, I'll say that. Well, folks, I think that's gonna be about it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.